Hello. Hello. Right, my name's Katrina. I'm 56. I live in uh, Cardiff. Would you say you're proper Welsh? Oh yes. Off on a holiday now at the end of the week, the two week cruise on the Caribbean, which I'm hoping is going to I do like to be on the sea and I'm thinking, well, it might give me a bit of sleep. <laughs> wow, so you're even, in, you know, planning your holiday to sleep. Yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> Everyone else will be thinking about bikinis and oh, jumping yeah. in the pool. You think about is, uh, can uh, I get a good night's sleep on the boat? Right. Yeah, and I often do. It's like the first we've been on. Um, my husband had gone upstairs to do a sunbathe and I've gone down to see if I can get a nap in, but it didn't always happen. <laughs> How many hours a night do you sleep do you get? Three if I'm lucky. Three hours sleep? If I'm lucky. Every night? Every night. What time do you go to bed? Uh, between 10 and half past of an uh, evening. Yeah. Uh, I usually come back downstairs 20 minutes later because I just, there's no sleep. And what, what's keeping you awake? Do you know? No. It just, I don't seem to think of anything other than trying to get to sleep. What impact does that have on your life? Oh, terrible at the minute. I've been off work for a couple of weeks. Have you? Yeah, I'm due to go, go back Friday because I'm just forgetting everything and I'm becoming a liability. <sighs> I, I, I've asked if I can go and be anaesthetised just it, to get some sleep. Wow, you're that but, desperate. Mm, try for me me mental. It's draining me of of everything really. Um, it's I become an obsessed with sleep. I need sleep, and it's not happening. Between two and five is probably my lowest. And on on a, some occasions, I've actually shouted at myself and swore and. Um, Looked at my tablets and thought, hmm, I don't know whether I can take these tablets. Yeah, it's just, do I take them and be done with it? And I, I can't do that to my sons waking up in the morning finding me dead in a chair, you know. But just, I just, you see, I'm, I'm desperate. I, I think I've become weak. And I, because I am quite, oh, I was quite a tough person. <laughs> you didn't cry, just go on with it. And, but yeah, yeah, I didn't realise how fragile one could get. Have you always had insomnia? No, no. It's, I've had it for about 18 months now. And it, it, it is getting to worse than it's ever been. And I did go into the doctors and I explained that I, you know, I tried to get an appointment for a start was a bit difficult mm. when I was told I had to go home to make an appointment instead of making one there. I said, well, I actually said to the girl, well, I can understand why people walk off the, and jump off the bridge because you, you left me nothing. Mm. I, I've become lonely, very alone as if, and I know people don't, they do care, but they don't understand either. Uh, you know, I don't understand that. Why should they understand? But I really don't think that they realise how desperate we are. Nobody's listening. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No, nobody wants to do anything about it. It's, I, I've tried everything. It's not working. What's the point? I don't see any way out, really, other than going into a, a place to make me sleep how much more have you got to keep banging on the door please 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 help me i'm not i'm not sleeping therefore i can't function right so hopefully I'm, I'm looking for support because at the minute i don't feel as if i'm getting any support from anywhere but i'm open to anything Could please just somebody help me wow. just go to sleep What's your name? Lucy. Hello Lucy, um, and where do you live? I live in Barry. I love Barry. a nice side of Barry near the beach here. Yeah, no, it does look very nice. Lovely, absolutely loves it. Um, 
Just explain uh, what jobs you do and how many hours you do. Um, I got a contract of 15 hours in a care home and a contract of seven and a half hours in a pharmacy. Okay. So I do work uh, late shifts generally. Um, the pharmacy, I, I, it's, it's, it's good to have just a minimum, minimum amount of contract really because um, I can say yes and no when I want to. So if I've had a bad night and I haven't slept at all, maybe I'll just say no. Because I just feel like if it was a morning shift and I am, haven't slept all night, I just feel like just getting up and just having no energy, just, you know, i just got to sort of, if I haven't slept, I'll just sort of lay there for a few hours and just relax on my eyes shut, that'll, that'll, that'll help, you know. Mm. Is it like working um, in the care room? What kind of people are you looking after and what illnesses do they have? Um, there's a lot with dementia, so it can be very demanding and um, uh, we, we look, there's quite a few in nursing beds. Um, so, I just want to ask, like, how do you deal with a patient with dementia when you haven't slept? Because <laughs> you've demented yourself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm pretty, pretty, um, I'm pretty uh, laid back, pretty mellow, and um, so no, it's just my nature, I suppose. I can just deal with it. <laughs> um, how many hours sleep a night do you get? Ranges between two and four, but sometimes not at all. Wow. None. I won't have any any sleep at all no sleep at all no. um, and how long has this been going on it's got worse over the years since I've got a bit older but um, mm. it's always been the same how do you cope in life um, on, on two to no hours sleep you just sort of keep going and you know you just get on with it and I go I, I I'm in a choir and we raise lots of money for ten of us and um, uh, it's nice and relaxing and you know it's good good therapy what do you do when you don't sleep at night so if you go to bed... Half about. <laughs> no, just, um, oh, just up and down the stairs, getting, trying to drink some hot milk and things like that to try and relax you. But uh, sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't, you know. So when you, have you ever been to the doctor about your sleep? No, only when I had an operation. And um, yeah, I asked him then, but uh, just prescribed me two, two um, sleeping tablets, which wasn't enough really. Did probably it? thought I was going to get addicted or something, but um, I told him I'd use them wisely, but no, just kept them too. How does not sleeping impact your life, truthfully? Um, it can affect your health a little bit. I do have a lot of stomach problems, and I believe that's all linked to it. But um, I haven't got anxious. much of a social life. No, not out. I'm just, uh, I go to the choir, and uh, we have a few gigs with that. And um, I'm not one for going out drinking, you know, in, in the nights. And drink. I can't drink because that's, that's no good. That will just, it can knock you out straight away, but then within an hour you're wide awake and you won't get any sleep with drink. I find drink worse. You, you, you don't use anything at all apart from a bit of honey. <sighs> Milk and honey. Mm, that's it really. Okay. Just nothing at all. Um, I do go to church at times. And yeah, I do find, you know, meditating in prayer is quite good. And you meditate then? Um, I feel like sometimes I can meditate in, in you know, prayers, like a form of meditation, and, um, you know, that can help. What's it like for your partner, or uh, sleeplessness? Does it irritate him? Is he helpful, mindful? Uh, yeah, he's always helpful. Um, I think, uh, you know, I, you know, probably there's going to be days I can be a bit more, you know, agitated and ratty, but uh, I, I don't think I take it out on him at all. So who do you take it out on? <laughs> Nobody, really. Nobody. You're I'm just me. I'm just mellow. I think if I am feeling, I, I'll t I tend to go inside myself and just, you know, just come and sit near the sea and go for, for, go for a cycle ride or something. I do, you know, cycle at times for, mm. you know, relaxation and, you know, you know, to try and relieve the stress and things. Yeah. Do you feel that your sleeplessness causes you any other health issues at all? Um, obviously headaches. <laughs> How do you get headaches? Yeah, I get the odd headaches, but um, but then everyone else do, I suppose, don't they? Everyone no, gets no, headaches no, no, don't like Lucy. <laughs> How does it make you feel not being able to sleep like a normal person? No, tell me truthfully. Well, it just makes you feel, apart from just feeling tired and weak, and it can just, you know, it can make you feel quite depressed. And, you know, just, just. Has it ever made you feel suicidal? Oh yeah, at times, yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, there's night, nights if you can't sleep at all, you just don't know what to do with yourself. You know, you're just laying there wide awake and you just know you're going to be like it all night. And you just think, gosh, you know, I just want to go to sleep. If, if you had the opportunity to uh, access therapy, access, uh, be offered an NHS CPAP and other uh, support to try and, one, see what's causing your sleeplessness, and two, I wouldn't say cure it because we're not sure if it can be cured, but at least manage it where you, 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 you're getting maybe five, six hours a night um, and uh, kind of have a rule book, for, so to speak, on how to manage it. Would you be interested in that? Oh, definitely, yeah. It sounds fantastic. That would be brilliant, you know. Any, any, anything that, that can help me as well as others would be brilliant. And if it, it worked, good. if it worked, really worked, how would it change your life if, you've got, if you could sleep more? Um, I think it just would because, um, you know, it's like, it, you know, we don't seem to go away much and have holidays and things like that because, um, you know, that, just doing that can just exhaust you in itself. And if I'm not, you know, anywhere else apart from my own bedroom, and I'm twice as bad, you know, I, I won't sleep at all, literally, mm. no sleep at all. Yeah. I don't know why I'm like that. It's just being in a different surrounding. So maybe it, if that can help with things like that, just, you know, have more holidays and go way more. Improve your life, uh, quality of life. Yeah, 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 that's really right. Yeah, yeah, yeah.